What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Already? Yeah. There's a CV joint. Oh. <laughs> Good morning or afternoon to you too. Today, we are smashing out a coil over. Coil over. CV joint, mate. CV joint. We've already done the coil overs. Come out, you freaking dog. Why? Oh, these bloody cheap wheel nuts suck, I tell ya. So we're gonna do a coil over. What am I doing right now? You're doing a CV joint. Oh! <laughs> Are we having a bad day? Should we stop? We're not having a bad day. This is meant to be a good day video. All right, we're doing a CV joint. Oh God, I'm scared. We gotta remove the wheel, or we'll jack up the car, then remove the wheel. If you got a rattle gun yet, in luck. Cause like that is so quick. Imagine doing that with a tea filler right now. It'd take me 10 minutes. Uh, see my fancy 20s, but look at this. <laughs> Share with a grease there, buddy. Oh, that's thick. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to clean, eh? Yuck. Can I clean it? Can I clean it? Are you crazy? Mm. <laughs> a little bit. Maybe. You have to be careful not to scratch me rims. Oh, you owe me two and a half grand. You didn't even pay that for him. <laughs> they're worth two and a half grand new. Exactly, they're not new. <laughs> Alright, now we need uh, to take this bit off and take this bit off. So if you watched my YouTube video the other day, you'd know how to take this bit off now, wouldn't you? Huh? What is it? Go back and watch it. The brake caliper, and then the <laughs> CV nut. <laughs> nut, do you mean it? I don't do know you... what you call that. CV nut? Mm -hmm. CV nut, that's what I'm calling it. I never know my terms. If you watch my YouTube videos, you know I don't know my terms. <laughs> but a 36 mil King Chrome. This was like a $50 socket, by the way. Oosa. Take that off. Take this off. This is where she gets greasy. Look how much grease is in here, guys. No, not up there. Down there. Yeah, look at all that. <laughs> Looks like some something pooed in there. Black poo everywhere. Not nice. All right, so we're gonna take this bit off here if you want. We'll take this off, hey? What bit are you taking off? We'll take off the, whatever that's called. The coil over. You've been doing this for years. Yeah, well, what's it called? The coil over, the thing that holds the, well, the uh, whole bloody knuckle. Okay. No, not knuckle. I don't know. <laughs> He's trying to make me look smart, and I'm not smart, all right? I just take bolts out, and it happens. I know what I'm doing. You just have to watch the video. Don't worry about terms. But they need to know how to do it. No, they don't. Well, what if they want to do it to their car? Well, then they're going to have to watch the video. Step by step guide here, guys. Apparently I've got impact sockets. Oh, look at that, man.
So this was a 21. Like so. Two, there's two of these, two of these bad boys. One down the top, one down the top, one up the bottom. I really want this video to stop. I feel like it's going to be a bad day. We need this car. It's not going to be a bad day. Well, you're getting everything confused and don't know what things That's what he said when he was trying to fix your motorbike. Come on. Why is everything going crazy? And then it ended up blowing up. It did not blow up. <laughs> <laughs> then what do you call them pieces over there? And they're know. all wrecked and burnt. That up. was not me. That was the other Julian. That he's no. Okay. So the evil twin. Oh! Yuck! <laughs> Careful of your finger, please. Oh, there's still bolts in there. Oh, God. oh my goodness gra gracious me. Hopefully that's not great balls of fire. I'm just degrazing because there's lots of grease. I already feel like this is going to be an hour long video because I don't even know I'm doing it. <laughs> Aren't you a professional? You're a YouTuber. I'm a professional YouTuber. Yeah. Is this turning the wheel? Yeah, I'm a professional YouTuber, not a professional mechanic. I just like to save us lots of money. Because I reckon this would cost you like... At least 600 bucks. So we're gonna remove these bolts. Like show. The ones you started removing? Yep. Look finger, Daddy. Oh, I'm more worried about getting all. Oh my god, I'm wearing this flipping watch again. Should we get it off? Let's pause. Mmm, yummy. Yeah. At least it's just CV grease, it's not like too stainy. PB, come on. Oh, where'd that go? It's blocked. I'm just gonna. Hmm. So, what's happened? Hey? What's the what's happened? Oh, yeah, I just dropped this under those and dropped them down. Mm. I'm a bit concerned about this coil over. Don't buy a max speeding rod coilovers, guys. They're freaking hopeless. Is that supposed to do that? I think so. Oh, yeah, it would, eh? Because it turns. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't mind me. I know what I'm talking about. Hey! Is that not a 17? That's the first time I've ever had a brake caliper bolt that's not a 17. What is it? Maybe an 18. 21? No, 18 probably. Then. No, it's a 21. What? Uh, no, it's a 19. Can I say that's pretty overboard. Why are these so hard? Okay. <laughs> so, brake caliper bolts. What's up? One, then a two. Oh, wait. Do I even need to do that? No, because we're already, we're, we're moving. We're good. We just need to uh, pop that out. <clears throat> so we just need to pop the CV out of here, out of the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm. Yummy. So yeah, that's what happened. The CV boot split and that ran out of grease and then it decided to blow the CV. So if you're hearing like a duck, 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 when you're going around corners, that's more than likely your CV bro broken. Or if you feel like you're gonna roll on roundabouts if you're coming in too quick? No, it's probably the cheap callers. Huh. 
Yeah. So I paid five hundred dollars for all four coilovers when you should probably be paying five hundred dollars a corner. Minimum. <laughs> Jesus, my thumb mate, it's freaking strong. Oh yeah. Alright, there we go, that's that out. Now <laughs> need to get that out of there. Come on! Hello. Well, I just separated that. That's not supposed to do that. Oh, I don't know if I can finish this off. Why? Because, oh wait, hold up, yeah, no, I can. I need a cliffy, this bad boy. Are you sure? That's enough, please. Please stay in the gearbox oil. I don't have gearbox oil. You can't be doing that. Why'd you cut that off? Because now I need to get my other tool on here and remove that. What other tool? My slide hammer. Oh yeah. Oh my god, why is that so full? That doesn't look good, eh? Is gear all supposed to be that colour? I don't think so. Looks like chocolate milk. This thing, Daddy? I think I might have blown on that side, to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, that's broken too. Fuck. It's yeah, it's a ball joint. A split ball joint there. That's not good either. I think I might have to gurney all this. Where? Hey? Where? Right, right here on top of my towels. Why are you shaking? Because we're going to be a really bad stain there, babe. Another new spot. It's not diesel oil, it'll come off. Yeah? Hmm. Pulley puller. Yeah, that's right. And then you put that little. Um, you got two of them. You got one for that's got like you can put use two arms, or you got this one that you can use the three arms. And then you put these little puppies in. <gasps> Brake levers. Yeah, that's what they look like. Hey. And then they, it comes with its own little nuts and bolts. Like so. My hands are very, very slippery. Oh, my arm's so confused. Did you say your arm's so confused? Yeah, my arm is very confused. <laughs> no, I'm so confused. I don't, I, I don't know why there's so much freaking oil in that. Unless they're like full of oil. 
Oh, so that's meant to have CV, Grace. <gasps> What's this? I don't know. <laughs> you got little f attachments. <laughs> nice. It's been on the magnet. I might need um a set of extra hands when I do this bit, I think. You might need an extra set of hands, Quizzes. Because someone needs to squeeze the jaws on here when I um, put it on that. I'm under here, going through the little where the oil filter is, and I'm trying to get to the back side of the CV. Yeah, that's doing it, babe. Let's come up. Yeah. All right, now I should just be able to maybe pull it. All right, so you just have to get. So I'll show you on the new CV here. I just had to get up through where the oil are the dust cover bash plate is and there's like a little spot you can get up a screwdriver up like that and I just put the screwdriver on there and just gave it a little tap and that I think that's just freed it I was freaking out eh had the pulley puller onto it yeah because I only we got... had this bit onto it then all the bit that's on it I only got one wing so I was a little bit scared eh aha I got you Ooh. All right, done. That's that. So is there a snap ring there? Ah, there is a snap ring there. Look, a little snap ring. Now, we get the new CV shaft. And. Can you know what side's what? All right, so there's two different separate ones. One of them's got, um, it's basically two ends like that, a spline. The, uh, the passenger side has got that and that, like that there as well. And that goes into the gearbox. And then this one has the spline coming from the intermediate shaft that goes into there and then that goes into the wheel. Yep. Yeah. And you know that which side's which because it's got the, that nut that I took off earlier that goes on the hub. That's it. That's how you do it. It was simple as. Nice. Well, simple, but that was me being me, I freak out always. What am I doing wrong? I need help. So then just slide that back into the hub and twisty, twisty. Oh God, this is funny, Abby. Let's get all this gross shit out of my way. Like that. Oh. Mm. Lucky. Extra hands. All right, so you need two sets of hands. That's why you missed that. But I basically just lifted, took all the weight off the. That's the steering knuckle, by the way. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I just took all the weight off that, and then Shazzy put the bolt in for me because she's amazing. Uh, like I said last time, you can do that on your own. You just need a scissor jack or another jack of some type. 
and just jack it up slowly. Now you put that through like that. Where's your little new nutskies? There was no washer on this one, was there? No. Fair enough. So these ones here are pretty cool. I don't know if you watched my Hyundai video the other day, but remember how there was like the little split pin that went through? Well, these don't have a split pin. They've got this little thing right here, this little cutout bit. So when you get that nice and tight, you actually just get a flathead screwdriver and you just whack it down and you bend this outside bit into that and that's how they lock. That's cool. It is pretty cool, isn't it? So we'll get our 36 mil socket back on. Make sure that's nice and tight. Get the bigger rattle gun on setting two. Fasten her off. And then we will get a pry bar. Decent pry bar. More flathead screwdriver. Oh no, I just used that same flathead screwdriver I was using before. <sighs> Flathead and a hammer. Pop it here like so. Oh, don't hit the freaking car, mate. Right? Just like that, and dent it in a bit. Like that. So now that won't come undone. It can't. It cannot come undone, and by right, that is pretty well it. Now we just need to put back on our caliper, but I'm going to try and give that a bit of a clean before I do that. I think I might get a few rags and a gurney. And guys, this is why we have fasteners on our brake lines. Let me show you something. Look at that. Yeah. Oops, eh? It's because when I put it back in, I didn't realize, but I must have twisted it a few times. So this was like twisted and it was just rubbing slowly on the boot. That's literally just rubber on rubber that's done that too. It's like not even metal, it's just rubber. Like it was just rubbing on this. And I think, I think this CV has been more damaged than what I thought. I think even this part was like, yeah, about to go. Luckily we didn't do too many more clutch kicks, eh? <laughs> that could have been very catastrophic and we would have been stuck on the side of the road. Ah, uh, the tow truck, come and pick me up, please. So I suppose it now we do a clean up? So just, where did we leave him at? We just, uh, I think I just had to put the caliper back on, didn't I? Like the caliper? So oh, I'm you're going to do some cleaning up. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to do some cleaning up, but now I'll just put in those two, back in the two caliper bolts. And I'm just tightening them up with my breaker bar.
think that's it. Pretty sure we're done. I don't know how much of that video you got on the YouTube's. So my apologies if I missed spits. Because I just was rushing ahead. And not really thinking about the YouTube video, guys. Sorry. You know what? I'll do a proper better video on the other side when we get around to that on the passenger side. We should do that straight away, though. <laughs> so, yeah, like always, guys, cheers for watching, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Oh, God. You need your haircut, mate. Why didn't anyone tell me my hair looks like this? Oh, God. CV joint done. This is the old one here. Completely split. Boot there, split. The boot there, split. She's falling apart. And the grease have gone. Bye, bitch. Cheers for watching.